good afternoon everyone so i posted a video two days ago and i asked i drew this question to the public asking if every dark knuckle that you see every dark knee and dark elbow including dark feet that you see on people if is actually as a result of bleaching the skin and some of the results i got some people were in support and then and then some people were against it and as usual i decided to throw a little bit of my knowledge out there you know just put it out there for people to have a better understanding of how this thing works a lot of times so when you see people with dark knuckles when you see people with dark knees etc it doesn't necessarily mean that they bleach their skin for some people it's natural and then there are others that is as a result of skin bleaching as a result of using products that aren't good, products that contain steroids. So that way it causes the discoloration on the skin. So there is no doubt that one can actually bleach their skin and get darker knuckles or knees or whatever or discoloration. If you use a very harsh product, that is bound to happen. But what I want to focus on today is the fact that there are people that are naturally light skin, dark skin, olive skin tone, and they have darker knuckles, dark feet, and they don't need to be body shamed by anybody. They don't need to be yapped and insulted by anybody. It's a natural thing and they can't help it. It's not their fault. It's how they were created. So there's really nothing they can do about it. Now, first and foremost, the skin on these areas are thicker. The skin on your knees are thicker, on your feet that are thicker than other part of your body. That's how God made it. These areas get in contact with hard surfaces and it's created that way so that when you use it, you don't feel you don't get hot you know there's how you can use this on a hard surface and you don't feel it but if you try that on your skin you discover that you get hot you know and um, because the oil gland here isn't that much so the area is not always hydrated you need to hydrate it yourself you need to scrub out the dead cells that a lot of there are a lot of skin keratinocytes that are produced on this area the stratum condom is thicker on this area you know to protect them and if at all where you walk you are in constant friction put your hands on the table at all times there's every possibility that you have a darker elbow because it's friction it's mechanical there's something rubbing on that area so it will make it rough it will make it darker that doesn't mean you're bleaching you know and for example you're applying your creams and you know people will just apply creams like this without touching these areas if you just apply your creams like this without touching you know stretching the skin here to apply the product there's every possibility that it will be dark that doesn't mean you are bleaching please we need to stop body shaming people i've had clients come in and they said oh i went to so so spa to do therapy and then i noticed that the girl that wanted to attend to me she has dark knuckles she has this and because of that i walked away you know it's crazy really when i hear things like that i'm like no no it's possible the person isn't bleaching <laughs> you know it's possible the person isn't bleaching you don't judge people uh, by that you know i've had clients come in and they tell me how come here is not blended why should it blend i don't have it naturally blended why do you want me to blend it <laughs> <laughs> like seriously why do you want me to blend it it's not natural you see dark skinned people with darker feet you see their ankle they are it's looking darker what do you want them to do in the course of using product to try to bleach those areas you worsen the situation you worsen it i'm saying it because i've been in this boot before where i was so self-conscious of myself that i needed to bleach my knee i needed to bleach my hands i needed to bleach this and bleach that because people will come and say ah, how come your skin is not blended how come? i don't have it natural I don't have it naturally i don't have blended skin there are people that their skin naturally it's all blended from their head to their toe they have it it's a natural thing you know so and then there are those that it's not natural there are white people real caucasians that you see them with dark elbow i've seen some white indians with dark knuckles so what do you call that are they bleaching do they need to start using products to clear those areas if there are a lot of melanin production on those areas there's nothing you can do. So when you use products to blend them, just know that you need to be consistent and it has to be a continuous process because the day you stop using those products, 
it will go back to status quo, which is being dark. You know what I mean now? <laughs> it will go back. <laughs> so please, we need to stop by the shaming people. I beg. It's really, it's not healthy. It's not nice. I read a lot of it on Instagram and other social. You know, so, and then another thing. <clears throat> You can also be scrubbing. There is no that it's dark doesn't mean you need to neglect it. Obviously, that's not what I'm saying. You can always take care of it. You scrub the area. You try to moisturize the area. Then the mild depigmenting product you can use on those areas to help fit them a bit. And um, if yours is as a result of friction or always putting your hands on the table or something or shoes that are very tight and because of that they keep giving this constant friction maybe you look for something that slacks a bit a loose shoe that you can wear just try as much as possible to care for those areas but please don't allow anyone body shame you if you have a natural dark knee dark elbow dark knuckles dark feet it's natural you can care for it, but don't feel bad about it.